Hello all you pirate loving, treasure hunting, ship sinking cosmonauts, as always I am Cosmic and today we're going to be taking a preview look at Black Wake, currently in development by Mastfire Studios. So Black Wake is a new multiplayer naval combat FPS that is focused on teamwork and cooperation and communication, very similar in style to that of Guns of Icarus. So the game places you in the role as either the British Navy or as pirates and your job is to use cooperation and teamwork with your crew and captain to destroy the other ship. Now the game is currently in alpha and currently on Steam early access program which means that everything you see here is of course subject to change. Now even in its alpha state the game has currently two game modes with variations so you have a dual style mode which is a 1v1 ship deathmatch and then you can go up to all the way to a 3 versus 3 deathmatch with various ship sizes so you can have ships that are focused on fast attack vessels that are going to ram bigger vessels and you can board and slay the enemy or you can have a giant industrial sized war machine that is going to of course hold several decks of cannons which is going to take real teamwork and cooperation to manage efficiently. Now before you start any given match you're able to create a character. The character creation options are fairly limited for the most part at the moment but the nice thing is that they do have a sense of progression so you're able to unlock new cosmetic items, new outfits, new hats, gotta love a good pirate hat every now and again and of course there are multiple loadouts so that you can really refine how you want to play the game when it comes to the FPS combat. Once you've spawned into a match and you've chosen your side that you want to be on, of course, either Navy or Pirates, and you've chosen a ship to serve on, you've got to either play one of two roles. You can either be the captain of the ship or you can be a crew member on that ship. Now, as a captain, it is a vital role whereby you have to communicate effectively with your crew. Communication in this game, as it is in Guns of Icarus, is just the ultimate key to victory. If you do not work as a team in this game, you are going to fail miserably and the reason is it's I would say it's even more pronounced in this game rather than Guns of Icarus because of the way that the mechanics are designed because it's old-fashioned naval warfare you have old-fashioned naval warfare tactics you have old-fashioned naval warfare machinery this isn't you know firing a flamethrower at somebody this is old style cannons which means that each cannon has to be reloaded individually go through the process of putting the gunpowder in putting the cannonball in shoving it down to the end of the cannon pushing the cannon back up to its firing mark and then making sure you line up your shot effectively taking into account speed and distance and so every time you basically fire your cannons on one side so if you have all the members of the crew firing on one side that means there's going to be a significant time period where you cannot fire back because your crew members are running around trying to reload and it also means that as the captain not only are you going to have to co effectively communicate where to fire which side they're coming on when to fire but it also means that they need to know where they need to be in regards to how you're steering the ship and of course because they're going to be focused on the ground they're looking down picking up items pushing cannons back they're not going to be watching the surroundings so as captain you need to know what's going on around you at all times as well as effectively communicating and of course carefully steering that ship as a crew member however you get all the fun jobs you get to fire off the cannon you get to board the enemy ship and take out your sword and start slashing away and of course you have the lovely job of repairing those cannon holes in your ship when the enemy has just passed you by and it's very important that effective communication is used because it is a case of when you take damage as your ship there's going to be holes and you're going to take on water which means that you're going to need to pump the ship for out of water and people are going to need to repair those holes and to be able to do that quickly and without having much downtime you need to really assign jobs to each individual crew member so they know need to they know where they need to be at any given time in terms 
terms of its core mechanics and the ship naval combat, Black Wake is a hell of a lot of fun. And I have to say that even in its early alpha state, which is very rough, it still can produce a really fun time. Where it lets itself down currently is in the first person shooter combat. So because you're using muskets, because you're using swords, it doesn't look particularly good. The hit accuracy is not particularly good. And it's something that the game suffers with at the moment, as well as it is hampered by the poor animations of the characters themselves, the movement, the lag. It's all a bit of an issue when it comes to boarding. And it, it tends to be the case that when you board an enemy ship or you get boarded, it can just be a bit of organized chaos rather than a system whereby you can really tell what's going on and there's clear lines of battle drawn. And it's a case of just scrambling around and hoping for the best, particularly the melee combat. The hit detection doesn't feel good, the feedback system does not feel good, and it's just not tight enough really to really have a solid FPS system there at the moment. And I think that overall, the melee and ranged combat when it comes to the FPS side certainly needs a lot of refinement. While the FPS side is lacking, like I said, the ship-to-ship -ship combat is a hell of a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun having a crew talking to each other, making sure that you sink that enemy ship before they even can board you, attacking the sails, making sure that you, know, you stay away from getting hit by a cannonball in the face and there's lots of things to really like about Black Wake. Now in terms of its current state the performance wise is not so good. You have sometimes long load times, there's lag involved with the official servers, not too bad for the most part, a lot better than Conan Exiles was on day one I have to say that but for the most part there are significant issues within the performance. Frame rate drops, bad textures, bad animations, everything that you could possibly hope not to see on the visual side of things in terms of a day one early access game, you're pretty much going to see in Black Wake. It is not that pretty. And I really hope that over the course of the development, it is something that is going to massively improve. One thing that I was very disappointed with, with the developers in particular, was the fact that they did not really put in a tutorial mode. Now, the reason I say this is because this game requires strong teamwork. It requires strong teamwork from the very start. As soon as you you enter a multiplayer match you need to know how to do what you need to do and the game does not have a tutorial at the moment that will enable you to learn the core mechanics and basic mechanics of the game even if the tutorial was just here is how you load a cannon here is how you pump water here is how you repair here is how you manage your loadout those kinds of key things that even a level one person needs to know when they enter a multiplayer match just have no way of being taught other than by throwing yourself into the deep end, which can get very frustrating with people who have played the game a long time and you're letting your team down, especially in the game that teamwork is so damn important. I have to say though, Black Wake, I, at the moment, even given its current issues, I absolutely love it. I've fallen in love with this game. It is so much fun. It can be a real laugh. Even its bugs and visual problems can turn around into a laugh with a group of people. And I have to say that the community, for the most part, as it currently stands, have all been fantastic, really helpful. Not only really helpful, but really nice and really respectful to everybody else. And it's a, th it's a game that I think has so so much potential for the future and I'm even excited by the fact that the developers have went out and stated that all additional content that they make for Black Wake will be absolutely free. There's going to be no pale DLC to divide the community and it's a case of that if they do add microtransactions it will likely be cosmetic stuff and then on top of that they've said that basically as long as people buy the game and continue to play Black Wake then they will even post launch continually support the game. Now for me when it comes to whether you buy it or not now I have to say this if you really love 
games like Guns of Icarus more so than any other genre, then it certainly might be worth getting into now in the early access period so that you can have a say in how the game develops further. However, if you're somebody who really needs a solid performance and very few bugs and issues, then it's definitely a game that you're going to have to wait for. It is going to cause you a lot of problems. There are various graphical issues, there are various performance issues, and there can be server issues with including lag and disconnects. So you really need to make sure that you know what you're getting into performance and technically the game is a bit of a mess as it currently stands however the core mechanics and the amount of fun factor that this game potentially has could mean that it could be a massive hit depending on how well the developers really polish this title up so that is my preview of Black Wake. Thank you so much for watching and listening. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Share the video on social media. And as always, I will see you next time.